Good morning friends, welcome to the SBI Securities Daily Morning Podcast. Today we will cover uh, what happened in the Indian market yesterday, global updates, what are the key news to track, which are the key results to focus on and what should be our investment and trading strategy for the day. So yesterday uh, market closed lower after opening with the gains and locked their worst month in 2023 as elevated US interest rate triggered persistent sales by foreign institutional and investor. So we have seen foreign institutional investors selling to the tune of 25,000 crore worth of shares in the month of October. Sensex stumbled by 580 points from day high and closed at uh, levels of 63,874 uh, levels, which is down to the tune of 0.37%. Nifty was down 61 point and ended at 19,079 levels. Sector-wise, we saw selling in uh, uh, stocks of public sector banks, pharma, auto, as well as private sector bank. Yesterday, uh, uh, mid-cap 100 index, uh, Nifty mid-cap 100 gained to the tune of 0.4%, whereas Nifty small-cap 100 was down by 0.06%. The market breadth was kind of neutral yesterday. Uh, nearly 1,896 stocks were in green, whereas 1,743 stocks were in red yesterday. In terms of fund flow for yesterday, Foreign institutional investor were seller to the tune of 696 crore, whereas domestic institutional investor were buyer to the tune of 340 crore. In the month of October, uh, the domestic institutional investor has supported the market by buying shares worth 25,000 crore, whereas foreign institutional investor were seller to the tune of 29,000 crore for the month of October. Let us check what happened in the US and European market yesterday evening. Yesterday evening, we saw US market as well as European market closing in green ahead of the US Fed meeting outcome, which is scheduled tonight. So today, a uh, market is approaching the US Fed meeting with an expectation that there, there is likely to be status quo, that is, there will be no change in interest rate as far as US economy is concerned. At the same time, the commentary from US Fed chief Mr. Powell it will be the key parameter to be tracked by the street. And uh, within that commentary, one will be looking at the trajectory possibility of uh, further rate hike in the current calendar year. At the same time, what is an outlook for next calendar year and then for calendar year 2025. Asian markets today are trading in the green, especially with Nikkei up by 2.2%, which is the benchmark index of Japan on the back of Bank of Japan yesterday targeting highest uh, higher interest rates in the economy. Gift Nifty, which is an early indicator of Indian market, Today, as we speak, is trading at 19,131 level, which indicate that Indian market may open gap down to the tune of 50 to 60 points. Now, let us focus on the key results which were announced uh, during the day and which should be on our radar. So, let us start with Larson and Tubro, very solid set of number reported by the company revenue up by 19%, EBITDA up by 15%. Net profit up by 37%, at rupees 3856 crore against the Bloomberg estimate of 2725 crore. Order book has increased by more than 20% to 4.51 trillion rupees. So I think the stock will continue to continue its upward momentum in medium to long term uh, horizon. Let us move to the next stock, which is a five star business finance. Uh, it's a smaller NBFC is catering to MSME cat, uh, segment. Very solid set of number. Income up by 44% at 519 crore. Profit up 38% at 199 crore. The stock will be in the focus today. JSPL, uh, again, uh, we reported a very solid set of number. Revenue at 12250 crore. Whereas profit is up 6 times at 1390 crore. Again, the Bloomberg estimates of 1078 crore. The solid set of number by JSPL, the stock will remain in focus today. Mankind Pharma, a recently listed pharma company, reported a decent set of number with revenue up 12% at Rs. 2708 crore, EBITDA up by 16% at 683 crore, EBITDA margin expanded to 25.2% as compared to 24.4% in a year ago quarter, profit at a uh, profit up by 21% at 511 crore against the street estimate of 506 crore, a decent set of number from Mankind Pharma. Amara Raja battery again a decent set of number, revenue up by 10%, profit up by 12.5% at 226 crore again the street estimate of 220 crore. So Amara Raja will also remain in focus today. KEI industry reported solid set of number in line with other wire company with revenue up 21% at rupees 1947 crore, profit up 31% at 140 crore against the Bloomberg estimate of 
वन थर्टी वन करोड़ तो स्टॉक विल रिमेन इन फोकस टूडे टाटा कंज्यूमर अगेन बीट तो वी हैव सीन रेवेन्यू अप बाय अलेवन परसेंट एट थ्री सेवन थ्री फोर करोड़ रिबिटा अप ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट एट फाइव थर्टी सेवन करोड़ रिपोर्टेड प्रॉफिट इज एट थ्री सिक्सटी फोर करोड़ अगेन द ब्लूमबर्ग इस्टिमेट ऑफ थ्री थर्टी वन करोड़ अ सॉलिड सेट ऑफ रिजल्ट बाय टाटा कंज्यूमर द स्टॉक विल कंटिन्यू इट अपवर्ड मोमेंटम इन मीडियम टू लॉन्ग टर्म ग्राविटा इंडिया अगेन अ सॉलिड सेट ऑफ नंबर वन ऑफ द लीडिंग रिसाइकलिंग कंपनी रेवेन्यू अप बाय ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एट एट थर्टी सिक्स करोड़ मार्जिन एट एट पॉइंट सेवन एंड रिपोर्टेड प्रॉफिट अप बाय थर्टी वन परसेंट एट फिफ्टी नाइन करोड़ द स्टॉक विल रिमेन इन फोकस बालू फोर्ज अ स्मॉल साइज फोर्जिंग कंपनी रेवेन्यू अप बाय टू पॉइंट थ्री टाइम्स एट वन थर्टी नाइन करोड़ प्रॉफिट अप थ्री एटी थ्री परसेंट एट ट्वेंटी थ्री करोड़ वर्थेज फाइव करोड़ अ सॉलिड सेट ऑफ नंबर फ्रॉम बालू फोर्ज अ डिसेंट सेट ऑफ रिजल्ट फ्रॉम प्राज Revenue flat, however, profit up uh, at sixty-two crore versus forty-eight crore, led by the uh, increase in margin. So this clearly shows that the benefit of lower raw material prices and and uh, uh, execution of a, on an order book which constitute higher margin is being reflected in the number. The stock will remain in focus. The company will hold an analyst call today at eleven thirty a.m. Kokuyu Campline, uh, one of the uh, small size stationery company. A decent set of number revenue at 194 crore versus 189 crore year in a year ago quarter profit at 9 crore versus 3.8 crore in a year ago quarter a decent set of number from Kokuyu Campline. In addition to that, uh, today more than 40 companies will announce their their results today. Uh, prominent being Ambuja Cement, Britannia, Godrej Consumer, Hero Moto Corp, Sun Pharma, Tata Steel, GMDC, and the, the and the long long list. so we have uploaded the list on uh, we have covered this list in our uh, telegram channel as well as in our morning report which is getting uploaded on sbi securities website so you can kindly refer to that report for a detail on which are the companies which will declare the numbers today in addition to that let us move to the ipo corner so today is the last day for selo world ipo the ipo was subscribed uh, by 1.4 times till uh, yesterday evening and this is a decent uh, consumer company a uh, well known brand so one can apply for the ipo uh, with an investment horizon of medium to long term honasa consumer which is the owner of mamar brand so i would recommend you not to subscribe for the, to the issue it's a very expensive and at the same time it is better to watch for the numbers for a quarter and two before taking plunge in this company on insider trade Jindal Stainless Steel as well as Home Distillery we have seen promoter buying from the open market both these stocks will remain under focus for next few days so to sum up today discussion the all the eyes will be on today is the US Fed meeting outcome which is the, which, which which is scheduled today evening as per the indian standard time so the entire world will be watching the commentary from US uh, Fed chief uh, Powell Mr Powell at the same time auto sales number will start percolating today morning what we expect what we are hearing from the management is that october month has been very rock solid especially for two wheeler passenger vehicle and commercial vehicle segment tractor segment will continue to remain under pressure due to demand concern so our top pick in the auto sector continue to be bajaj auto and tvs motor as well as tata motors and maruti so we expect all these four companies to deliver a solid set of numbers when um, for the monthly sales of the october So let us uh, the street will be keenly eyeing the auto sales number today as well as tomorrow. To sum up today's discussion, so stock specific action will continue again a result heavy day. At the same time, we will be releasing our Diwali pick report today evening. So kindly stay tuned into SBI Securities website to get hold of this report. Thank you for patiently listening to us. Have a good day. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.